our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ giving God thanks and praise that we can be in his presence one more time amen, amen. praise the name of the Lord as we begin this service this afternoon I am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me though he die yet shall he live again and whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die man that is born of a woman has put but a few days and full of trouble he come up forth like a flower and cut it down. He played also as a shadow and continueth not. He brought nothing into this world and is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. At this time, a reverent rise, he will lead us in prayer. We give thanks to the O God. For your love and kindness and your mercy toward us and we believe dear father that you who has given will take again so we come this afternoon in the name of jesus to give thanks and praise for the glorious life that our brother has lived and believing that he has already made his acquaintance with thee and he's acknowledged as a son of thine we lift them before thee at this moment and pray that all will be well with his soul that he should land in that place where there will be celestial glory. And I'm asking thee this afternoon to bless his work as we give thanks in Jesus' name. We also lift his family before thee, those that are grieving, those that are at the moment, keeping quiet, but we'll still be grieving at the moment. We can do nothing but just lift their names before them, pray that they would allow you into their hearts and become as children born of a Savior, living with a Savior, expecting to meet a Father who is everlasting. And so we give you thanks and praise for everything in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. At this time, I bring condolences from the Emmanuel Tabernacle Pentecostal Church, New Hope Pentecostal. New Hope Pentecostal Church, also the Upper Room Church. Praise the Lord. We are our deceased brother elder victor carter where he reside and fellowship praise the name of the lord so we bring greetings this afternoon in the name of jesus we weep with you this afternoon we shed tears with you this afternoon praise the name of the lord because we were one family amen, amen. praise the name of the lord at this time we have our first scripture reading by sister jacqueline harewood saint john 14 1 to 6 from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your heart be troubled. You have faith in God. 
have faith also in me. For in my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself. So that where I am, you may be also. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except for me. Here in the reading of the word of the Lord. Followed by Tishana Brown, the eulogy. Good afternoon, Good and thank you all for joining here us today. Up. Our last respect to Deacon Victor Sylvester Carter. It is never easy to say goodbye but we appreciate the opportunity to memorialize this important person. Victor, our granddad as I know him, was born on January 30th, 1958, to Berkeley Warner and Ethelyn Tark, both of whom he has preceded in death. He leaves to mourn his two children, Keisha Bean, Kamal Carter, and his sisters, Yolanda Tark, Sonia Weeks, Sandra Bonnet, Joanne Warner, his brothers Daryl Tart, Anthony Warner, and Stephen Warner. His grandchildren Keishana Brown, Kilani Bean, and Thierry Carter, as well as many other family members, friends, and colleagues. My grandfather was a private person, but a God-fearing person. He was a hard-working man and was dedicated to any position he held. Evidently, being an active member of the New Hope Pentecostal Church and a senior clerk at the Huddersfield Trading Inc. My grandfather had a love for music, and to be precise, gospel music. He enjoyed playing the drums at the church for many years. In his pastime, he spent many hours playing the harmonica at home. The sweet melodies still ring in my ears. He also had a great proclivity for doing sudokus. My family members can attest to that. When going through any newspaper by my great grandmother's house, the sudoku in the back of the paper would always be completed by him. My grandfather also had a passion for cricket. In his early years, he was an employer for the Barbados Cricket Association at some point in time. He enjoyed watching English football, especially his favorite team, Chelsea. My grandfather was not only a private person, but a very simple person whose life routine was work, visiting his parents, and church every Sunday without a doubt in his later years of life. The Concordia would always be outside the church member's house by a certain time to ensure they made it to church in a timely manner. I personally had my granddad's Sunday routine down pat. On Sundays, he would wake up around 6 a.m. and start his cooking to be out of the house by 9, 9.30, depending on how many members he had to pick up for church. He was never one for long conversations. He was a quiet individual, not prone to engage in long conversations, but was a quite avid listener who never complained about a thing. Most persons could not detect in his voice whether he was upset or in a good mood. But when you see the sour change in his facial expressions, you would know something was wrong. Anyone can vouch by saying, when asking my granddad about his well-being, he would respond, I am living and thank God for that. As far as I could recall, my granddad never lashed any of his grandchildren. He was one to speak strictly but never loudly. I personally would not say he was a serious person because he would was always want to laugh or give a carny joke. Victor had lived all his life in Silver Hill Christ Church, close to his family members. He will surely be missed by many, and we can be assured that he will rise in again in the arms of Jesus. Thank you.
thank you again for honoring my grandfather's life with your presence. Thank you. Praise the Lord. At this time, we'll have that hymn. We'll sing the two songs back to back in the sweet by and by, and as I journey through the land.
Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. This afternoon we could rejoice, you know. Praise the name of the Lord. Because what we are seeing is just the body. Amen. Praise the name of that's the earthly house there. Praise the Lord. But he already going to be with the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So this afternoon, you know, through our sorrows, for the word of God says, weeping will endure for a night. But joy, I said, joy will come in the morning. So you know what? During our weeping and our sadness, because death is something that we hard to come to great with, we can still rejoice and praise the Lord and give God thanks for the life of our elder. Shall we just praise him this afternoon? Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. At this time, our deacon Gittings, he will greet you this afternoon on the behalf of our elder character. God bless him as he comes to you. Good afternoon. 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 Things are all can separate it on the ship to shores of time. Here we are to say goodbyes. But we soon be reunited in that happy sunny climb. Have to get together in this time. Oh, have to get together meeting over the by and by. Praise the Lord. We thank our Deacon Giddens for that lovely rendition. Praise the Lord. And at this time, our Reverend Rice, he will come to you and greet you. Praise the name of the Lord. These are members of the New Hope Upper Room Church. Praise the name of the Lord. And they will speak on his behalf this afternoon. Very short. Praise God. Jesus, I trust that 
trust that it will be all well with each and every one of us this afternoon and that our souls would deserve to be in the same situation as our elder car. I believe that he had done what he could have done on his own strength. He was a leader, let me put it this way, he was a leader and we believe that he had done something that was great and glorious in the name of Jesus. And I thank God for him. I don't know how things would change, but I believe that he had made his calling and election sure, and that he will go through the gates of Jerusalem in that bright and glorious morning. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, we come to the most important part, the Word of God. Praise the Lord. And let me remind you this afternoon that the Word of God is not to our elder. Praise God. When the Bible speaks about Moses and all the prophets that sh share the good news about our Lord Jesus Christ, praise the name of the Lord. And we, the ones that are alive, we are sharing the Word to those that are alive this afternoon. Our elder has made his election sure. Praise the name of the Lord. He cannot hear anything. Praise the name of the Lord. But the word of God is to us that is alive. Praise the name of the Lord. Today in the midst of our sadness, we, you know, we can take comfort that our elder Carter is going to be with the Lord. You know, and life is not about the house that we live in. It's not about the car that we drive. Praise God. It's all life is about living a life that is pleasing to Jesus. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. It's all about Jesus. Amen. It has nothing to do with us this afternoon because I will say something to you that we can't turn one gray hair and our head black. Are you with me this afternoon? Right. So everything we do, we have to depend upon Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. This afternoon, I want to speak to you about appointment. Appointment that is scheduled on the calendar for each and every one of us existence. You have not shown you this appointment. None of us could make this appointment. Are you with me this evening? Yes. None of us could make this appointment. But it has shown you for you. You do not know the date. You don't know the hour. You don't know the minute. No, we don't know the second. But I could ask, tell you today that you may ask, what is this appointment? And you could turn your Bible to Hebrews 9, 27. Where the word of God tells us, and as is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. And this afternoon, we are looking at that appointment this afternoon. Every single person here this afternoon have appointment with death. We dress for appointment. Our elder, before he got his job, i sure he had appointment to meet at Hustle Turning. He dressed to meet that appointment in order to require his job. Now, when he gets to that appointment, the boss can say, look, you come back tomorrow, or you come back next week, or somebody else has taken the appointment. But when we look at this appointment, this is an appointment that is sure. A very sure appointment. And as our elder dress for that appointment, he dressed his heart and his soul for the appointment to meet with Christ. Are you with me this afternoon? Amen. Just as he dressed for work, he dressed to meet that appointment with Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless God. Not only will we die, but we will also stand before God. Amen. Sometimes we say, oh, I could die any time. But I'm telling you that this afternoon. Never you say you could die any time unless you know how you are going to die. And when you die, where you are going. Are you with me? Praise the name of the Lord. And the time that we are living in, we need to dress ourselves and get them ready for this appointment. Because this appointment could call right now. Are you with me? But our elder knew that his appointment was there. And I will say something to you about our elder. For the past three months before his passing, he had a peace. A very humble, humble spirit more humble than what he was and a very peace and a calm over him 
relate to what at the church when he's off he will come to the church and he will work all along we didn't know that he was preparing himself for his appointment he knew where he was going he knew that he was going praise the name of the lord things that i see him do i never see him before did praise the name of the lord and those past three months he slept at the church he slept at the church he worked hard at the church Praise the name of the Lord because you know what? He did not want to leave an unfinished task behind. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he knew the God in whom he served. And he knew that God was going to call him home. Praise the name of the Lord. And I was privileged the same day that he died. He came to my house and we sat in the veranda. And he keeps saying, oh, it looked like we're going to get rain. But it was in the rain. Outside was bright like now. But he kept saying, it's going to rain. I said to myself, something's not right. And I prayed with him right there. He said to me, I'm going home. I'm going to my workplace. Now this is that appointment he's making. Not knowing that in the evening, he had the real appointment with death. He's going to his workplace to carry his certificate. And then he come back with the I said, I will come and see you in the evening. I'm telling you, this afternoon, what death does to us. It's no respect of person. It don't have no respect. It's disrespectful. It breaks up loved ones. It separates you from everything that you have. And I can tell you this afternoon, the Bible tells us that there was a rich man and he had a bit of bond because his ground was plenteous. And the Bible says that he said to himself, Oh, soul, I will lay up all my treasures, all my goods in this man. Oh my God, but the Bible says that in the night, uh, the Lord came to me and said, Don't fall, the night thy soul shall require of thee. Whose these things will be? I come to tell you this afternoon that death will separate you from anything and everything that in your path. Are you with me this afternoon? But one thing will not separate. Do not allow the enemy to separate you from God. Amen. You got a privilege. You know something about our elder? He loves an open air service. Amen. Oh, he loves to know. And every sermon that he ministered, it always ends like a call. Yes. Somebody this afternoon, he's already gone. But it's you that left behind. One soul this afternoon can say yes to the Lord. Because you don't know. I don't know when our appointment will be. So I think in my mind, and I know for sure that you can trust yourself this afternoon with the word of God. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior that when you that appointment and you got to make it, you know that you're going to make it with your maker. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise this is a serious time that we are living in. Oh, this is not a time to play the fool. You that don't know the Lord, not a time to play the fool. We have the Corvette. Ah, oh, the Corvette like rain pouring. You gotta come out in Corvette like rain. You gotta use the umbrella when rain falling. But I tell you something, in order to go through Corvette, you need the blood of Jesus. Amen. You need the blood of Jesus to use as an umbrella to protect us from COVID because COVID is like a death sentence. It separates loved ones. It separates parties. Come on, church. It separates everything that comes in our path. Praise the number. But the only thing that we have this afternoon to cover us is the blood of Jesus. Because no man, no woman, we live as we like, as we like. We do as we, as we please. But when death comes, we can't say death, you go back today and come tomorrow. No, no, no. If there's one thing in this world that sheer fear is death. We can't send back death. So many people say them they're dying and the Lord resurrect them. We know that the resurrecting power of Jesus Christ can resurrect any day, anything that is dead. But you're not up yet. Hallelujah. When the death angel came by to snatch you, all oh, the angel of life come back and say, This is my servant. Right. And whom that I'm well pleased. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that's why some of us are here today. Praise the name of the Lord. Our elder serve God well. 
praise the name of the Lord. He served God well. He never missed a Sunday from church. The only Sunday that I knew he missed was a Sunday when he messed him and said he not feeling well. When it comes to work, oh, he can't miss work. Uh-uh. He ain't missing work. He got to be really sick in order to stay home from work. He loved that job just as much as he loved the Lord. And I will say to you that God is the one that provides that for him. God, anytime you're on a job and you love it and you can commit yourself to it, it's God that provides it for you. Are you with me this evening? Yeah. Because we can't do nothing without God. So this afternoon, you can't shut up death. When it comes knocking at our door, listen, we, you have birth control pills. You, are you with me? Yeah. I like to use the natural to bring the spiritual, but we don't have no, 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 birth, no control pills for death. Amen? Amen? There's none. There's nothing that can control death. You'll be sick and you're going to the doctor. And he doesn't say you've got three days to live. If you, the Lord says you've got three days, you will live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. But if the Lord says it is three days, then three days you die. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible tells us this rich man, he, he stored everything. Everything he stored up, he's going to give peace to his soul now because his soul is his. Nothing we have is a, we bring nothing into this world and we carry nothing. Not even the very clothes that are back to her is ours. We don't have anything to cherish. God has lent them to us for a time. Are you with me? We are borrowed. Everything we have is borrowed. Praise the name of the Lord. So I am encouraging you this afternoon. Serve God. Those that don't know the Lord make a commitment to Almighty God because you don't know when you is appointment. The Bible says that the hand a rich man and the poor man Lazarus. The Bible says that Lazarus used to sit at the gate and the dog used to lick his sword. But the rich man feared so justly every day. But one day, one, one day, the Bible says the rich man died and went to where? Hell! The poor man died and was taken in Abraham's hand's bosom. Are you with me this afternoon? There's a great gulf fix between hell and heaven. You can't pass over. You can't tell me that you live a life that is not pleasing unto God and then when you get down there to hell, you will run over to heaven. It don't work so. For the Bible tells me that this rich man, right down in hell, he starts to testify. Oh, I have five brothers. I sent Elijah to tell them one of them don't come to this place. Let me tell you something. If you take hell sweet, then if you live a life that ain't pleasing towards God, never dread and tell yourself you want to go to hell because you're going to be in hell in your conscious state. That's right. yeah. That's true. This rich man was in his conscious state mm -hmm. and he was in torment. Praise the name of the Lord. But he lived a life to suit himself. We got to live a life that suit Almighty God. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I can tell you something. Look, this world that we are living in, it's full of corruption. Yeah. It got confusion. Yeah. Nothing in this world is pleasing. Praise God. But one body is pleasing this afternoon, and that's Jehovah God. Yeah. And we fought him. He said, look, there's nothing I will withhold from them that walk uprightly. He will not withhold nothing from you. Want you surrender yourself to Almighty God. I'm not preaching about him this afternoon. I'm preaching to you and tell you that the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And the soul that sinneth, it shall die. Get rid of sin or sin will get rid of us. Come on. He already made his election sure. Yes. Praise God. What about, what about you this afternoon? Hallelujah. There's not all the call, but you can sit where you are and just accept the Lord Jesus Christ. You can stand just where you are and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. This is not a nice story I bring to you. I have nothing to polish up when it comes to the Word of God. If the Word of God says the wages of sin is death, I tell you direct the Word of God says the wages of sin is death. Are you with me this evening? In funeral service, we think we're preaching about the, the dead, but he already lived his life to please the Lord. 
God has shown me the path of life. In thy presence there is a fullness of joy. And at his right hand there is pleasure forevermore. Are you with me this evening? Serve God and live. Remember, we can't do nothing before Almighty God. Keep his commandments. The young man tell God, tell Jesus, uh, I, I, I keep all the commandments. I do everything that was right. But when Jesus said, listen, sell all your God and give it to the poor, he said. And Jesus said, you sell all your God and give it to the poor and come follow me. We will get sad. No, we follow Jesus because at the end of the day, there is, there is a heaven to gain. Amen. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. He said, listen, if it were not so, he said, I would have told you. He said, I go to prepare a place for you that where he is, there you will be also. Do you want to share that mansion this afternoon? It's a mansion for each and every one of us that you prefer. Do you want to share that mansion this afternoon? But I know our elder is sharing that mansion this afternoon. And I pray this afternoon that these words will do something to our hearts. That when we go home, we reminisce on it. That we know that there's a hell to lose and a heaven to gain. Somebody might say, I'm not ready. But you have an opportunity to surrender now. The word of God is the final authority. And the last court appeal is eternal destiny. Where would you spend eternity? Can I repeat that again? Where would you spend eternity? Oh, you're saying to yourself, I have everything that I need. I don't need anything else. But the only way you can live a fruitful life and have everything you need is having Jesus. All you got is I surrender all to Jesus. Amen. I know it will come hard for you to give up the life that we are living. It's hard. But if you say yes to Jesus, there's nothing too hard that God can't do. He can move mountains and he can take us all around them. So I'm encouraging you, give him a chance and let him prove it. Only give him a chance. You see, if you don't give him a chance, you can't prove anything. That's why David, some of David said, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is God. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh uprightly. We bless the Lord this evening. Praise the name of the Lord. Keep his commandments. Live a life that is pleasing to God. Follow after the example of our elder character. I know that he was alive today and he sees daughter and granddaughter and his grandchildren give the life over to the Lord. But let me tell you something. He leave a legacy behind for y'all. Amen. Follow after his footsteps. Follow after his footsteps. God bless you this afternoon as we sing that closing hymn. As we sing that hymn, and can it be? Yeah, okay, I'll do that.
The palberries to draw closer. All the palberries, please. God to take out of this world our deceased elder Victor Carter we commit his body to mother's earth earth to earth ashes to ashes dust to dust looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come to Jesus Christ our Lord at whose second coming in glorious majestic to judge the world the earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Praise the Lord. At this time we have the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for now and forever amen Yeah, you could start it. Yeah, well, then sing it. Yeah. Come back, teacher. Come back, teacher. 
I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that that may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. The benediction. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of eternal Jesus, equip you to do his will working in you that which is pleasing in his sight to jesus christ to whom be glory for ever and ever and may the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all amen, amen. Thank you.